Welcome to this quick guide which will instruct you how to use the automatic insulin pen injector by Copernicus. This pen ensures an easy and safe method of accurate dosing of insulin. The automatic spring-assisted delivery system will enable you an effortless injection of the desired dose of insulin at the constant speed, regardless of the dose size. You will also appreciate the positioning of the release button at the side of the pen body, which is thus easy to reach and enables you to firmly position your hand during the process of the injection. In order to start using the Copernicus automatic pen injector, you must have the pen injector, the insulin cartridge, a pen needle, a container for disposables. Make sure you have washed your hands before you start using the pen. Pull out the cap. You will then see the transparent cartridge holder. Unscrew it by turning it counterclockwise. If the piston rod sticks up, press it into the pen body. Insert insulin cartridge into the cartridge holder. Rubber tip to the front. Attach the cartridge holder to the pen body by turning it clockwise. Remember, you may not use any other insulin than recommended by a doctor. Check the cartridge to make sure that it contains the type of insulin you have been prescribed. Here you can see one of the insulins as a sample. If you are using a cloudy insulin, then you must mix it before each injection. Mix the cartridge content by turning the pan gently up and down at least 10 times, until insulin looks entirely mixed. Make sure that the insulin inside the pen injector has the uniform appearance. Now your pen is ready for the needle attachment. There are different sizes of needle. The length and diameter of the needle, which suit with you the best, shall be determined during your conversation with the doctor. To attach the needle, Rip off the paper tap from the outer needle shield and then attach the outer needle shield to the cartridge holder by turning it clockwise. Remove the outer needle shield. Remember to keep it in order to remove the needle after the completion of the injection process. Remove the inner needle shield and dispose of it. Before performing any injection, you always must prime your pen. Priming is necessary in order to remove any air from cartridge and from the needle tube. Using the dose selector, choose two test units of insulin. In order to do this, turn the dose selector clockwise until the figure 2 comes up, which corresponds to the desired dose of two units. Now hold the pen with the needle facing upwards. Using your thumb, slide the trigger in the direction of the needle. Hold the trigger until a green dot appears in the window signalizing the end of injection. You should see a drop of the insulin at the end of the needle. If a drop of insulin does not appear, then dial the two testing units again and prime your pen with the needle facing upwards again. In order to select the amount of insulin you want to inject, turn the dose selector clockwise until you will see the desired figure of mark, which corresponds to the number of insulin units you want to inject. If you have chosen a dose that is too high, you can easily reduce it. Rotate the dose selector counterclockwise until the desired dose appears in the dose selector window. Now grasp the pen injector firmly with your thumb snugly on the release button and the rest of your finger holding the cartridge holder. Lean your wrist against your body to stabilize your hand and then insert the end of the needle into the subcutaneous tissue. Using your thumb, slide the release button in the direction of the needle. The injection is almost painless as the insulin is administered smoothly under the constant speed. Hold the trigger until the green dot appears in the window, signalizing the end of the injection. Count to 10 and then remove the needle.
If the green dot didn't appear, it means that insulin in the cartridge is over. Remember the number of units you see in the selector window. It corresponds to the number of units of insulin which you must enter to complete the injection. After the injection is over, put the outer needle shield on the needle. Rotate the outer needle shield counterclockwise. Remove the used needle. Put your pen cap back on. You have completed your insulin injection.